Good morning, everyone. Let me scan or focus in, whatever you call it, zoom in. <laughs> okay, today we're back with Ginger at Ginger's Corner, and we are doing scraps to embellishments. And today's theme is snapshots, and is anything with pictures is allowed. Now, I know she doesn't want our pictures, so I'm thinking it's just anything picture theme, like maybe a camera. I mean, a big camera would be super cute. And, um, but I'm doing these little Polaroid things. I bought this little die cut that makes Polaroids. And now these are, the whole strip is only three inches long. So anyhow, I decided I was, I actually already had made the video and I thought, ah, this is boring. <laughs> so I thought, okay, what I'm gonna do is my daughter had made a, or she had purchased a frame that had a clothesline on it in two different places, and then you took pictures during the birthday party, and then you pull, hung up the little Polaroids. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm actually gonna send these little squares that came out of here, because um, when I use it, I might doodle something on these. You know, otherwise, maybe, um, I don't know if my, um, Epson picture mate would actually do a little photo that small but I remember that when we used to buy pictures from a disc they would send the little thing with if you wanted it so I probably have pictures that are close to the size this is 5 8 by 5 8 right I mean it looks like a square yeah pretty close yeah so um so anyhow, I decided I'd do these little Polaroids on here. And so I'm doing two strips. And I am also, I'm going to, now I'd, I'd done all this already, but <laughs> I deleted it. I thought, I'm gonna put on that little frame. And um, so anyhow, it's like, I'm going over the edges of this with the weathered wood the alcohol inks um, just because I think I like the gives it um, dimension so I'm just doing a little bit of that and then I'm gonna do up here a little it's kind of hard to get the edges into this little area without bending it all up so I'm just gonna do a little quick hit of the color on that and I guess I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other one, too, because um, I've already used my samples. <laughs> I had one already made, and then it was like, um, I'm going to do this, because I had already planned two for everyone in my swap group, who I don't know what it is yet, because they actually do that tomorrow. So, okay. And if you haven't seen my... Um, layout that for the 30 days of sketches that should be on 15 minutes before this one and so far I haven't done that yet so but I should be able to get it done okay so I'm just doing that with the weathered wood and I thought oh, yeah if you if you put these back in there you know when they're on your little thing here now I did not glue this part down because I thought it would be cute if they were up. So if I decide that I'm putting these in here, I might just glue them back in. I mean, they don't just stay in there. I might just maybe put a little piece of tape washi or something on the back. I'm not sure. But otherwise, I might just glue the pictures down. Okay, and so then um, I'm taking, this is lemon. It's a Martha Stewart sticker, or sticker, <laughs> marker, and I'm just doing the rope area with this, because I want it to look like rope. I was just going to leave it white, but then it was just like boring, and <clears throat> so, because I, I thought, oh, if it was clotheslined, that would, you know, look fine, but I'm going to do it like it's rope. And then I'm gonna take this 
marker. I always want to put those on the back and that does not stay on the back. So I'm just going to go back and forth so that it kind of gets around the corner too. So, and I'm doing it at a diagonal so that it has like a, a twisted rope effect or whatever. And I hope everybody can see good enough. Let me see. Okay, so I'm just doing it diagonal. And I think it looks more like rope like that. And it doesn't look so uniform, so I think that I think that looks, you know, better for uh, rope. I keep moving it out of the plate way, and it doesn't seem like it's catching it. So, um, so I grabbed a hold of it. And then the same color. These are, and this one's a different marker, and I can't even tell what, what it says, but it's like. It says metallic brush, I think. So, um, so that must be the color. But it looks like the color of a clothespin. So that's why I'm using that. This it does kind of have a bronzy effect, bronzy color. But it looked the most like a, just a clothespin than anything else that I had. So I'm doing that. I usually have one of something ready. <laughs> so it's like I keep thinking, oh, I still have one to go. Okay, so I'm just doing that. So it looks like the clothespins are holding it up. And the little frames I have, they are actually from Minte. And when you buy, well, now the new ones, they don't have the frames on the back. But the old ones, they used to, um, they would have an embellishment on the front, and usually that's what I ended up using, the embellishment on the front. And then, um, but they have like a frame on the back. So I just took the ones that I thought, oh, the chances of me using the embellishment were less. So that's how I picked out my frames. And this one is actually from Bloomville. So that's the frames I'm using. So I'm going to use this one here and I'm just going to glue the, actually the rope area. I just filled up my glues, but I, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I must not have had it all the way full. So I'm just going to glue down that area. Oh, and the close pins because I want the pictures to look like they could uh, flap around and since they kind of overlap I'm going to put this one here I need to keep a paper towel here or something because I'm always getting glue on here. Glue, extra glue. And I hate it when that happens. Okay, so I'm just going to glue the top one now. when I'm doing the opposite direction. So that's how they'll look. So I've got just two more to go. And then um, I didn't actually make one for myself or my friend yet, but maybe I'll cut out some more. You know, I've got that um, grand, two and a half year old grandson here. So it's like, you know, you just get done what you can get done. <laughs> So um, each person will get one of these, and then I'm also going to put these in, and um, 
because I knew for sure I was doing this and then I forgot that I was gonna do these and it's like oh I'm gonna cut them some of these and at the top of that is a is a little camera now this one fell apart but um, it's like maybe I'll stick some washi otherwise I might just throw it into the container or into a baggie but so you get the two cameras you get these one of these and I don't know if you've seen my um, video that I did. I don't remember what day it was. It was a two-page layout. It's called Healing Foods, if you go look for it. But I actually used three of these to do this long strip. Whoops. I forgot it was in the... <laughs> I have to go out to the largest. Okay, so I actually used three of these to do this and then just cut them in half. But I love how that turned out. So you could always do that with one. I mean, this one, you would just have enough to do two because I'm only putting in two. And, and then it's like, I did not use a camera for that one, but you could use a camera for something else. And all these little pieces come apart. So if you wanted to put another color in there or make it dimensional, you probably could. So everyone will get a set like that. And I'm gonna put these little in, these little squares in too, just in case um, you decide that you need them for something. So this one will get a set like this too. And these I did all in black, because that's the way I liked them. And, and then the little cameras. So I will have close-ups at the end, and I'll get my other two made up, and they'll be all set to go. And thank you for joining me. Oh, down at the bottom will be a link that shows all the YouTube people, and then all the people that are on Instagram. But there is one link that will just take you to all the YouTube videos. And there's another link that takes you over to Ginger's Corner Facebook group if you decide that you want to swap with us. So we do this every week. A little package of four goes out. So you make four and then you get four. And they're always different. And because you get them from four different people. So just go there and see what's up. See what we're doing next. Um, I can tell you um, we are we will have a big theme coming up where you do 10 of each or 10 of whatever you're making and our next embellishment is going to be fruit frenzy so that will be fun so thank you for joining me have a wonderful day go check everybody out and I'll see you tomorrow oh if you haven't seen my 30 days of sketches that will be up 15 minutes before this <laughs> so thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.